Welcome to the final part of Freedom Planet. Uh, the final part of the final Dreadnought. Gotta say, behind the scenes, this has actually probably been one of our more difficult commentaries in quite some time. Woo! Just because, like, we had to take, like, a two-week break after the first 14, first 14, the first four parts. And then, uh, and then there was also this shit just now yeah. where Gabe had to switch to his laptop. Which is very slow still. Even more so, actually. It's interesting how the platforms only appear when you, um, are near them. They don't, mm. actually. They appear and disappear at a certain rhythm. Oh, well, to me, it looks like it's doing so. Okay, now I can see that, but the ones earlier, it looked like they were appearing just when you were there. You must have been going right at the face then. Yeah. I wonder how far up we're going to go. Probably pretty far. How far do you go? I go five feet, three inches up. <laughs> what the fuck is a <laughs> kilometer? <laughs> Anyone who is American. <laughs> Pretty funny picture. It's like point six George, miles, right? It's George Washington holding a fucking AR-15. He's just like, what the fuck oh, is a meter? I don't think an AR-15 was invented then, Gabethan. Nah, nah, nah. Gabe nah, nah. It's, 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 it's a funny joke because it's like super American. All right, so what you want to do is actually avoid every single one of these warps. Why? Because they send you backward. Oh, that's a funny joke. You're a funny joke. Thank you. That wasn't a compliment. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Cyclone. Cyclone, that's, engage! Fuck! That's me. That's, me. <laughs> that's a dude. Me screaming cyclone is me when I see a cyclone. But you I'm don't like, see oh, a fuck. cyclone because cyclones don't occur in our region. It's true. A tornado ah. in the water. Oh fuck. <laughs> we don't get tornadoes either. I mean, we sometimes get, like, tiny ones, but I've never seen them. I just see them in the news. Biggest tornadoes I've seen are dust devils. <laughs> I, oh, yeah, yeah. Likewise. Like, we don't really get any, like, major storms in Oregon. You know, you know snow, but We rain, have the potential for fire. a devastating earthquake, and... That's um, true, that's true. There's no, also the production fires. going on 100% oh, of know, the time. Devastating you know, forest fires. In February, you know, we had a snowstorm, and hey, then everything oh, was the big snow ice storm. You make, you make the comment about that, but, like, also, I'd like to and point out that we made wave. it... We made it through the whole summer this year without the entire metro area being engulfed in smoke. That's true. But the rest of the state of Oregon was. I feel so bad for okay, them. Okay, I didn't know about that, but... Yes. Oh my gosh, it was wanna... terrible. We were just protected by the Willamette Valley, the gorge, and the coast. Yep. It's Our little there. tiny slice <laughs> of the state. Our slice of life. Yeah, like, I've had to, I had to cancel vacations because of how, in Oregon because of how bad the air quality oh, was over yeah, the I summer. Remember, I remember you you were talking about that before. Mm-hmm. I like that big laser. The big laser. Big laser. Yeah. And it's like, it just laser. goes off every now and then. Like, what is it for? And the thing <sighs> Wait, is, too, is that, like, the energy is... particles are still going, but, like, the energy yeah. particles don't concentrate until it becomes big laser. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. This is just slow laser right like, now. It's so slow that it doesn't do any damage Is to this you. specifically meant to... Is this, is like, the main purpose for this, um, to deal with the <laughs> intruders? <laughs> because this seems a bit excessive, and also, how much money is it costing to fire that once? Well, oh, see, gosh. like, you see all the fucking power cords in the back, and like the yes. wires and shit? So that probably powers it. Which is... Wow, so that's what that does. <laughs> <laughs> Generated. You know, I knew Big Laser would kill you, didn't know it would kill you that hard. This is the biggest Big Laser I think I've ever seen. That's, Not even kidding. Yeah, that's a that's a that is a big wide laser. That is there's a some, there's some really chunky particles too. That is that is a that is a girthy laser. Only oh the my gosh, biggest Gabe, and lightest see, of lasers. Did you see in the chat when you were trying to get your computer on, I was looking up different sunscreens that I might be interested in trying out because I have a notoriously hard time finding them with my really sensitive skin and I found this one called um No Joke Kiss Me Mommy UV Aqua Milk. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> no, but that sounds like a product I need. <laughs> no! I, I, I want to buy it just for the name. <laughs> it's like you just go up to one of your friends and be like, Hey, bro, kiss me, mommy. And they're like, what? And you're like, you need some? I got some. It's going to be a hot day today. Right? Oh. I think, okay, so 
I think it's because it's a kid's sunscreen and it's Japanese, so it's like maybe a translation issue, but um, I want to buy it just for the name. <laughs> oh, sorry. God, Mom? Daddy! Whoa! Oh, no, 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 no. You see, that's my name and it's pronounced Dadi. <laughs> And then, he hits, and then he hits him again. Oh, oh, yes, Danny. Danny. That one was what you thought it was. <laughs> now that one was exactly what you thought it was. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get okay. Now I thought you were gonna get big lasered, but you just missed it. Uh, it's like it's like it's a it's it's like it's a double double standard, you know? Yeah. It's like you yes. think it's sexual. It's like oh no, it's not sexual. Okay, yeah, it's sexual. <laughs> Beat up those head crabs. I'm going to have to pull you over. Why? Because, or, no, no, it's like, I'm afraid I can't do that. Why, said the officer. Because you are a head crab zombie, said John Freeman. <laughs> those sound, those sound rockets sound like somebody who's constipated. <laughs> oh, shit, it read. What, I, you... thought it was, I thought it was the world. Oh, oh the world is in red, it's inverted. There's a sniper on you. Well, not anymore. Well, oh. well. You. It sounded like a cat no that, that you did, Gabe. <laughs> what? The imitation of that sound that you did sounded like a cat. Yeah. It's, so, it's wavy. I made it wavy with my voice. That's really cool. I've never heard that before. You do Alright, we're gonna fight Magic. Big Ship again. Wow! Oh, you're frog. gonna fucking get one tab. That's rough. <laughs> Oh, yep. <laughs> you really hit you with the, that What did you call him? Something frog? I call him, I call him Flying Big Frog. I call him Flying Giant Frog. Mm -hmm. Giant Flying Laser Frog. That's what it was. Giant Flying Laser Frog. He's Giant Flying laser, fr laser Frog. Yeah, that's yep. right. The, G, the GFLF. <sighs> I don't fuck with MILFs. I only fuck with GFLFs. <laughs> <laughs> No kiss me mommy sunscreen for you, Gabe. <laughs> no, I take it back. Oh god, it's slime time? What the fuck? Does he apply blight to you? Those are some lasers. Oh, he's pissing again. He's pissing. <laughs> well, that's not the white piss, though. <laughs> Dude, no, it's, it's just angled piss. <laughs> it's strafe piss. <laughs> Yeah, there he is. Straight piss. Oh, missile piss. Oh. Missile piss. <laughs> it's like passing kidney stones, but instead they're yes. rockets that explode. <laughs> oh my gosh. This commentary sucks. You can say this. <laughs> oh, hey, we got silo. health from destroying the ship. My dick All right, guys, silo. we beat the game. I heard you. No, we didn't. We have to fight Lord B. Evan. What is he Lord doing? Lord Brief Evan? He's getting in his neck suit. That's such a cool mech, what the fuck? Oh my god, so, it has fucking lasers. If, if Brevin is brief Evan, that means there needs to be a boxer Evan. What? Wow, that sound was so fucking loud, oh my god. It's, ju it's just me, but wearing boxer shorts, and also I'm really buff. Oh, and boxer gloves, too. <laughs> and boxer gloves. And you have a dog that's a boxer breed. Yeah. And also, uh, you work as a boxer at a facility. <laughs> Terry, I have to like ask, like, boxes. okay, I understand, I understand the Evan part, but how did you come up with brief Evan from that, like, out of all the BR words? I don't know, it's just the first one that came to my head. Which all one right. do you think you would have used? Which one would you bad, use? I think he's bad Evan. But there's but no, no R in there. It needs to be the BR. Brad Wait, Evan. Brad Evan. <laughs> that, you see, his first name is Brad, and his last name is Evans. Okay. This is the guy who fucking rules the galaxy? What a buster. Save you from the dragon you've unleashed. I will destroy everything you throw at me. At least buy me a drink first. Her friend is dead. Oh, he cut out of his own fucking mech. Oh, oh phase three. You try. Oh my god, he sounds now? so fucking heated. He sounds Whoa. so mad. All right, so first off, do not let yourself get hit by his knife, okay? Just don't do it. I thought you were going to say nuts, but okay. <laughs> 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 so, seriously? Okay, well, I'm gonna tangent it through Gabe's laughter. Um, or at least I'm gonna try to. Uh, anyway, uh, you'll see Brevin actually has a health bar. He's the only boss to have one. Um, 
His pattern is extremely fast, but he never strays away from the pattern, so it's less about having quick reflexes and just, like, developing a rhythm to uh, lay damage and also dodge his attacks. I'd like to see you try. Whips out his balls. <laughs> No, Dave. Oh my gosh, it was not supposed to be that funny. <laughs> it's just the, the fucking, like, this death, this final boss in his, like, desperation phase, you know, just have destroyed countless civilizations and his special ability, and he just fucking runs at you and hits you with a sack. Smashing games will continue on without Gabe, but we wish him well. Oh, who so, said that, though? So funny. I started oh, it. Oh, yeah, Carrie, you started it, but Gabe's the one who got himself oh. fired. Get oh. a load of this. No, shut up. <laughs> Wait, but then, no, then he, that would be his weakness, too, because remember our earlier conversation? That's so he'd be really point. easy yeah. to defeat. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, who oh. was saying, like... Just in case Dave didn't hear me through the laughing, yeah, pattern. Uh, yes. he moves it's really not, it's fast. A pattern. It's a fast pattern, yeah. I heard. But yeah, it's he, cool. he's very, like he sticks to his pattern no matter what. All right. Also, I like how he just suplexes you. He just throws you over his head. Superplex. That's from the top rope carry. He <laughs> supplies you. That is actually the proper pronunciation. I know. That's why I said it. Mm -hmm. Suplex. Oh, no. I think we had this discussion on Smash Team Games once. We did. Of the exercise. Oh my god. Oh my god. She is. Oh my. Oh my god. No, oh it's my. not pronounced souple. It's pronounced souple with the god with the glottal stop at the Suple. end. Souple. Souple. Yeah. Souple xylophone. Yeah. Souple. Souple. Oh, he really just fucking drilled the fucking. Yeah, out and then me. it's like stage complete. Oh. Oh. Hey, I remember what you were talking about earlier. How it just blows the fuck up. Oh, wait, Brevin got away. Yeah. Of course, you gotta set up the sequel. Oh, ooh, that was a nice. The trailer oh. suggests that he's not Pretty. the villain of the sequel. Oh. oh. Someone's grilling something it's outside. It's Boxer I smell, Evan. I smell, I smell charcoal outside and fire. Someone's cooking something outside. Nice. It smells nice. She's alive! Oh, yeah! Oh. <laughs> Just live. Sorry. You weren't yourself. It's okay. Aww. It's okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Good job. I couldn't save him. I'll let her know. I couldn't even stop him from getting away. Don't beat yourself up. Brevin didn't get the stone, and his army was destroyed with his ship. Thanks to you, our mission is complete. But at what cost? How are we going to survive without any more energy? Uh, Lilac. You might want to look up. Oh, fuck. Space Mountain from this end. <laughs> <laughs> it's not destroyed? It must have changed form. This part makes no... Like, the, the stone well, just turns into energy that's okay, in the sky, no, and I guess that, it's like... That does make sense, because energy can't be created or destroyed, only repurposed. Well, conservation oh, of energy. Yeah. Yeah. An opportunity has fallen to our world. We now realize that the Kingdom Stone was never fading, but changing in ways that were transparent to us in our lust for power. It was going through puberty, and we were too greedy to realize. <laughs> it turned from rock into <laughs> dust. <laughs> to the furthest reaches of our lands, and former enemies extend their hands to one another, acknowledging the error of their ways. We're not at war with each other anymore. We're pretty cool. We're, we're cool now, I guess. We're homies. The landscape. Or BFFs. It will be some time before we can dispose of them once and for all. Perhaps most troubling of all is that Lord Brevin, a monster who threw our world into. <clears throat> I don't know, he's kind of getting super bodied, so even if he was like, you know, escaped, he'd probably just be like Vegeta when he got into the Saiyan pod. That's exactly what I was thinking. At the, at the end of the Saiyan saga, he's just super fucked up. And we'll never see him again. They'll see me next episode. And I'm a ghost. I've given our world another chance. Oh, I got him, GG's. Anyway, we just gotta wrap up, like, one more loose end. All right. Hey, we're buds.
and that's that torque is going back to space. He's got a little heart on his thing. Oh, it's the it's the gals. It says no. It says Carol was here. Oh, toxic. With incorrect spelling. You're thinking like, oh, that's so wholesome, and then you're like, oh, it's toxic. It's just Carol. Could be coming back sooner than you think. Until then, he comes. He's the villain of the sequel. <laughs> <laughs> I could it's be a, coming back sooner than you think. Only it's a duck, evil. It's a duck species. Well, it's possible because this could be a case of the enemy if my enemy is my friend, and now the two of them are enemies. This is not that, but <laughs> uh, it could be. I haven't played the other one, so anything's possible. Well, the sequel oh, also isn't out yet. out yet, so it's not out yet. It'll be coming out though. I haven't conceptualized. The sequel, All right. so anything well, is possible. Uh, it is final thoughts time, everyone! <laughs> final thoughts. Alright, cool. Ready? Okay. Ready? Ready. Are you ready? Yes. I am. Aye, I, 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 Captain. Alright, here oh, we gosh. go. <laughs> Darth Vader. Honestly, the music was pretty nice. Um, the uh, the gameplay was pretty. Nah, nah. You thought I was gonna subvert your expectations. What do you think I am? What do you? Who do? You, what kind of? What kind of fucking? What kind of buster bitch do you take me for? You don't. The music, literally. Okay, so the music made me ejaculate and evacuate. What a fucking uh, banging OST. Not while I was here. What a, what an amazing. Song. Um. I like okay, 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 okay. So, okay, okay, all right. So, okay, okay, all right. So, the gameplay, right? I know there was like two. We didn't see the third one because we didn't see Mia's gameplay. But uh, so I like Carol's bike thing. I like how she has the uh, the uh, Chun Li's fucking flurry kick. Uh, I again, I said it first, but I can't stress enough. The bike thing is cool, but I feel like it's trite and kind of dumb. But then again, I haven't played. Uh, 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 fucking, uh, a main character, uh, Donna Bennett, uh, yes. Uh, fucking, so her combat is like, Evan was like, oh, Smash Bros. combat. And I was like, it's not Smash Bros. combat. And then, like, in the latter half, I was like, oh, he's using down airs. So, yeah, that's just pretty nice. I think that's pretty dope. Uh, obviously, uh, her gameplay is, uh, you know, probably, uh, what the focus of the game was, obviously, as it should be. And uh, it was pretty cool. Um, story, you know, eh, typical energy crisis story is like, eh, you know, but like it's like done well and interestingly because like there's kingdoms that like have resources of the energy crisis. But then again, it does kind of just boil down to like a misunderstood bad. Join forces against common enemy good. Retcon at the end where Deus Ex Machina takes place and everything's fine. So, uh, you know, that was like, ah, I mean, like, okay, I mean, eh, I you know, like, okay, I mean, it was fine. The oh, voice acting was pretty good, you know, I thought there were some instances of the characters like, eh, it sounded a little rough. Um, you know, uh, uh, Cobra Commander sounded sick. Uh, Kung Fu Panda sounded sick. Uh, fucking, uh, the, the, uh, a, a guy in the big blue suit, Bear in the Big Blue House guy was nice. Uh, he had a very nice, deep, sultry voice. Uh, Donna Bennett, again, uh, kiss on the cake. Uh... You know, uh, and, you know, the art, oh, the art style, like the tricks they did with like pseudo 3D stuff, despite it being a 2D, was really nice. It was really fire, really fuego. Um, let's see, what else? Ooh, ooh, ooh. okay. So, oh, excuse me. So, like I, I mentioned earlier, the sound design in this game is crazy. Like, it's crunchy and it's like all like bit heavy, but like you're like, whoa, that's what I imagine that sounding like. Or like, you know, the the, the dragon. You're like, whoa, there's a dragon. Uh, it's like, oh, my God, that's what a dragon would sound like. Um. So I thought that was pretty nice. And then... Ooh! Okay, so a lot of the, the level designs, right? Some of them were like, oh, cringe. But some of them were like, go fast. Or like some of them were like vertical movement. Or some of them were like, fight these guys. And you're like, whoa, whoa, that's cool. Um, I wish that like some of the side character... Well, okay, I don't know. I feel like Spade, I know why he got a lot of time. But also not because he was going to have his own story. But then he wasn't. And then... um, uh. Torque was like a character, and he was like, "Oh, but cutscenes." Uh, and he was also going to be a playable character, but he wasn't. So it was just like, "Oh man, okay, whatever." Um, oh, Lord Brevin was a cool villain. He was like, "Oh, whatever." Stupid heroes get fucking bodied, and then he gets bodied, and he doesn't even say anything at the end because he's busy getting the shit kicked out of him. Um, <coughs> all in all, uh, excited for the sequel. Um, eight out of ten. 
I think that may have been Gabe's longest final thoughts in the entire show. <laughs> That was almost like me at the end of Hamtaro games. You had a lot to say. <laughs> and I think I'll make up for that by not having quite as much to say because apologies in advance, but I did not take notes on this one, so I'm going from memory, which for me means not nearly as much detail. Terry has Alzheimer. I really <laughs> hope I do. <laughs> oh my gosh. So when I went, when I noticed that this was sort of based off of the the similar style of Sonic games, I was I wasn't expecting it to be as interesting as it was. To be honest, I thought I I, I was expecting it to be like okay something not 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 that not that Sonic games are a bad thing, but I was expecting it to be like okay it's just like another Sonic game. But that wasn't the case. It I th I think it had to do with a lot of the cutscenes and having them having them be voice acted and a bit more in-depth character interactions than Sonic games that made it separate from me even though there was a similar style and, and at least the level design and a lot of the movement gameplay. And I really liked that. The plot itself didn't stick out to me too much. Um, so I think the interesting character interactions with the not so standout plot to me sort of balance each other out. It doesn't make it, I don't know. I don't know what, to say, what I'm saying about that. I'm not doing this with notes, and you're like, Harry, you can't add like It's true. Um, what else do I want to say? I think that was really it. Oh, I didn't even think about what I wanted to rate this. What do I want to rate this? The six and a half out of ten. Six and a half out of ten. Which is still better than average, mind you. I thought it was good, but I think the plot not standing out to me as much as other games that we've done recently um, brought it down a little bit. Characters were super interesting, though, and I would be interested in the sequel. So, that's that. All right, all right. So, when I played this, it was like... It was like when things were kind of looking, feeling a bit weird for Sonic. Like, before Sonic Mania was announced, uh, it was still pretty new at the time. Um, and, like, it was just, like, something that was, like... It kind of felt like maybe, like, some sort of substitute for, like, a classic-style Sonic game. Just because, like hadn't gotten anything like that in years and I was like interested but like really like the more I play it especially nowadays in a world where Sonic Mania exists I'm able to more appreciate it for like its own identity it's just got like a little bit it's got a little bit of everything that I really like in, like my action like in my action platformers you know it's got high speed it's got over the top bosses and um it's also just, like, got a very, very pretty graphic direction and, um, just a goddamn amazing soundtrack. Um, one of the little Sonic-isms I really like is that it takes from, uh, Sonic 3 and so Sonic Mania, well, Sonic Mania wasn't out yet, but Sonic 3 in particular, where while it uses the same two-act system as most Sonic games, is like, Act 2 is, like, it has a different song, the stage is a different background, there are some different, like, little objects in the level to make it stand out from Act 1, they, so they both acts have their own identity. Um, I always thought that was cool. The story is a bit on the weak side, like, okay, like, I get what they're going for and there are things that I like about it, uh, but, like, I feel like they want you to pay a little more attention to it than I'd like it to, because there are, like, certain details that you may not notice if you're just kind of, like, kind of, like, yeah, I'm just playing a game. And, I mean, cool. That, like, if that's, like, how you prefer to go about games, like, without a story, there's... You can just play through the game without the cuts. There's a classic mode that doesn't have any cutscenes at all. And that's something I really appreciate. Um, is this, like the end-all be-all go-to platformer for me? No, in fact, again, like going off of Sonic games, I'd rather play Sonic games over it, but I still, I still had a great time with it and I'm really looking forward to the sequel, so I give it an eight out of 10. Nice. All right, if you want to play this game for yourself, it is pretty much, it's available on a lot. You can get it on Steam, you can get it on uh, Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and even Wii U. You can get it on Wii U. Um, so, you know, there's lots of options. It's not too expensive. Uh, and, yeah, the sequel should be out next year. Uh, anyway, uh, next time on Smash Team Games, uh, finally, 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 we're moving on to marathons again. Or, I mean, I guess 
regular marathons. The, 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 the one-off stuff is over, and we are beginning the Mega Man X Marathon. Mega Man I'm X. so excited Woo! for this one. This um, one will be great. Yeah. Until then, this is Smash Team Games signing off. Bye. of time, marry you for eternity.